Hi guys. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to make myself for dinner. Now this is called um, endive chicory golden heart. As you can tell, it's beautiful and golden on the inside. Don't mind this chunk that's missing because I probably put some in my husband's sandwich. But this is what I'm going to make for dinner for myself. And I'm going to show you how easy and how clean I really eat. Yes, I do make a lot of cooked foods because there's a lot of you that like to eat cooked. And my family loves to eat cooked. But I love to eat raw and I love the energy of uh, eating raw. So I'm going to show you how simple one of my dishes are. And actually this is not a completely raw dish. It's going to be in a wrap. Yes, I will be putting this in a wrap. So it's going to be a partial raw uh, raw dinner. Now like I said, I'm not 100% raw. I'm around 97% raw. So I do have some... Uh, some cooked foods once in a while or I taste some cooked foods example like those delicious tarallis that I just put up for you guys I put up a nice video on some awesome dessert that you can try and uh, You tell me what you think of it. So I am gonna take my uh, Salad I'm gonna take half an avocado. I'm gonna take a little bit of pepper I'm gonna need uh, So we're gonna start off with this to start off with and then I'm going to, uh, do you hear my little pest? He is. JJ. He's chasing the cats. Okay. So, so I'm just going to come back until he stops barking. Give me a second. Okay. So, here we go. JJ, you're going to get scratched. So, I'm just going to take off the butt end. And I'm just going to kind of, oh, that's not a nice one. Now, I buy a whole case at a time of this. This is like a frise that I use. And there we go. So, like I said, I am going to have a wrap with this. So, it isn't going to be completely, completely raw. But I do get a lot of raw in my diet. Okay, and you're probably one. And you know what? I wanted to explain something also. Someone said to me, Why don't you change your name? Your name is Rawsome Kitchen. Well, I eat raw and I make some awesome food. So I figured Rawsome, and I like the name, so I might just keep the name the way it is. And if you guys think I should come up with a better name, maybe you can post some for me and I'll uh, consider it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly mix some thin because it's going to go into a wrap. So I'm just going to make... Now normally I would put this in a veggie wrap. Not veggie as in uh, a bread type wrap, but like a leaf of some sort. Like either a romaine or just eat it the way it is. But because I have some wraps that I bought for my daughter... And I don't want them to go into the garbage. And so once in a while, I do eat it. I also make them into crackers for my daughter. She's having some uh, um, avocado spread. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I do dry some up if I'm doing some, uh, if I make her guacamole. And I'll make like chips for her. So I do dry, but I have such a big package of it. I don't want them to go bad, so I will have one tonight with my dinner. I do once in a while. I don't mind it. But I do like to eat mostly raw. I don't even put oil in my salads. But you have to try this. I guarantee you, you will like it. I promise you, you're going to like it. So we're going to put half an avocado. This is my fat. There we go. And I'm just going to put little bits of it in there. So there's the fat that I'm going to be eating. And I'm going to put also some papaya sliced in there. Like I said, I eat pretty clean. So 
I don't put oils and I don't put there we go. That's how much papaya I'm gonna put in my salad. Now sometimes I'll just take this papaya and it was nice and big. I can't even tell you how big this papaya was. Uh, sometimes I'll just take that papaya and I basically cut, cut it in half and I fill it with salad and avocado and other veggies. But this time I'm just going to use a little bit and I'm going to put it right into my salad. I know a few of you have asked, can you show me how you eat? Well, this is how I eat. And, you know, I don't always make uh, gourmet dishes. Um, because it's just nice to be able to throw some stuff together and just eat when you're hungry. You don't want to wait for the dehydrator to make your lasagna or um, raviolis. You just want to put some food together and just eat it. And this is so pleasant. It really is a nice, uh, a nice dish. And I get all the nutrients I need out of this, believe me. And it's not the only thing I ate. Like today I had just a big plate of peppers. This morning I had, um, this morning I had some fresh bananas, so, you know, trust me, I'm not starving. Trust me, I'm not starving. <laughs> and this is a pretty big salad. I mean, you can't really tell with the camera, but it is a huge salad. Now, I'm going to show you how hot I eat. I love my hot peppers. Okay, here's a little, I call them the Russian Russian roulette. <laughs> sometimes they're hot and sometimes they're not. But these little guys are. So I am going to put a whole one of these. Now if it was my daughter, I would just put just a couple. Let me get a cutting board. Now if I'd be making some for Erica, she'd be getting just a little bit of these peppers. That's even too much for Erica. But I'm going to put the whole thing for myself. And especially in the winter when it's cold out and you eat raw. And that's another reason why a lot of people don't like doing it over the winter. Especially if you're living in Canada. It gets so cold. Uh, when you eat cold food, your body just stays cold. But if you put as much hot pepper as I do, trust me, your body is not going to get cold. If anything, you you heat up, you feel your insides and your outsides get nice and warm on you so i'm just going to cut this up speed it up for you and i'll continue in a minute there you go look at all the peppers i put crazy huh i'm gonna get some cilantro Okay, now, not only do I love cilantro, but I put a lot of cilantro in my salad. Why? Because cilantro helps you uh, get rid of heavy metals in your body. So, the more you put, the better it is. Not only do I like the taste, but it has a lot of benefits. So, I'm okay with it. I put a large amount. Now, if you want to put less, put less. But the more greens you eat and the more you eat of raw foods, uh, you will need to eat a little more than... A person who's just having a little bit of salad next to their, uh, their seitan or whatever else they're eating. So here's my big bowl of salad. And now I'm going to show you. I use just a little bit of salt. I use a little bit of maple. And we're going to put the juice of half, of half a lime. And that's my dressing, believe it or not. Now, you have to try this. You will absolutely, absolutely love it. There we go. And this is all for me.
And trust me, I'm going to be hungry in about an hour, so I'll probably eat some bananas or whatever fruit I have. If I'm not going to make an ice cream, um, I might just have some fruit, but I will be eating again later on. And, and it's not expensive. People say, oh my God, it must cost you so much money to eat that way. Uh, no. No, it does not cost a lot of money. If anything, it costs less money. One papaya lasts me a week if I'm eating it this way. Um, I, had, I buy this uh, frise salad by the case. So with $25, or with, well, for 12 of them, uh, I get a whole case of 12. Uh, so it's really not that expensive. And peppers, I didn't put that much pepper in here. And even if I want to eat a lot of peppers, like I'll have a big plate of peppers, um, peppers aren't that expensive, especially if you get them on a, in a good price. You've got to look out for prices. Okay, so I'm just going to taste it for salt. Mmm, so good. Okay, now, put my salad aside. There we go. Make room. Now, I went down and I bought a whole package of this beautiful, um, it's almost like a wax paper. It says vegetables. It says legume. And I'm going to put this on, um, under my wrap. Now these are big tortillas. I'm using lemon cilantro. And these are the big ones. These are, um, uh, they're the 12 inch. So they're pretty big. Now instead of putting, uh, eating two of them and dividing all that salad, what I do is I take one because today I am going to be not 100% because I'm having this. But, I'm going to have one and I'm going to load it up. So, I'm going to start off with a base of dill. There we go. And I'm going to load this up. As much as I can put in here. I call this green on green. I'm whipping food at me. And I'm going to put some sprouts on top of there. We're going to put some sunflower sprouts. These are beautiful organic sprouts. There we go. And now the trick is to wrap this up. I am going to do my best. This is going to be a real fatty too. And then I put it right down. Ah. There we go. Wrap. And here is my beautiful wrap. Get a plate. Now I'm going to have my wrap here. Mmm, I'm not done here. I'm going to put the rest of my salad on the side. Okay, so what else would you put next to some green? Ooh, a little bit of cilantro. 
cilantro. Look what I'm going to put. Some beautiful seaweed. I call this green on green. That's my dinner, guys. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next.